Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard Woman video. So, today's video is just going to be a follow-up to what happened yesterday, because it was kind of crazy and unexpected. When I first saw people tweeting about the new Shadow Room that was open, at first I didn't even think it was real, I was like, wait, what's going on? And it turns out it was. For some reason, the Shadow Room was open for people to, if you finish Mirage, to be able to go into and talk to the Shadow Teacher. And she also had a quest. So, as of today though, they removed the Shadow Teacher from the Shadow Room. You can still go inside it, but you cannot talk to her because she no longer exists. She's gone. My Storm already completed the quest, but even if you go in on a character that hasn't done the quest, she's still gone. So, the only people that can get the new trick spell are people that did this yesterday, which is kind of crazy I don't know why they didn't remove the actual spell yet because this spell I've heard people using it in PvP and it's kind of crazy oh yeah my I opened the the free wisteria pack and I got the uh, the sapling pet so trick I know a little more about it now after seeing other people use it and trying it out myself more but it steals a power pip from the enemy for zero pips for you and you get back one pip. So if you have all power pips and one regular pip, it'll turn your regular pip into a power pip just because that's basically gaining one pip for you. But the bad thing is that it steals a power pip from the enemy. Like that's really good because you're basically getting a one up on the enemy by taking away their power pip and giving you another pip. So it's hard for the enemy to do anything with this. Like in PvP, that's what I keep thinking about is PvP. And should this be available in PvP right now? Probably not. Should this even be in the game right now? Probably not. But it is. Here it is. And my storm has it. So that's the mystery of the shadow quest and the shadow room so far. Basically, you could do the quest if you got in on this really early. Like a lot of people did. That's the only way you would have trick right now. Which is still in the game. Which is kind of crazy. But I also want to look at some of the dialogue. I'm not going to go too in-depth. I mean, obviously spoilers. But for people that watched my video yesterday, that's also spoilers because this isn't supposed to be in the game yet. It seemed like it was an accident. But the quest line is really interesting with what she says and what she hints at. So I will be looking through that a little bit in this video. But the other thing I want to mention before that is a lot of people, when this first came out, thought that you could get banned for doing this quest. And some people even told me not to do it. But if it's in the game, even if it's their mistake that it's in the game we should be able to do it since it's there and we have access to it without you know doing anything like any weird kind of means to get here this is open you can go into the shadow room see just like nicole is in the shadow room right now you can go in the shadow room if you did it yesterday you could have talked to the teacher done the whole quest gone to the trickster through the portal defeated him and then finished the quest i don't know that's uh something that you could have done all that yesterday, and I don't think anyone should get banned for that. Tom even mentioned on Twitter that people won't be getting banned for it. The only way I could see someone getting banned for doing this is taking Trick to PvP and just absolutely abusing that spell to rank up. I don't know how good it is. I mean, it seems like it's pretty good in PvP, but if you're doing that, then maybe you could get banned. But otherwise, just by doing this and getting the spell, you won't get banned because... There's no reason for you to. You just played something that was in the game at the time. And, uh, I mean, it's not our fault that it was here. So, that's kind of my thoughts on it. I really wish they would remove Trick. Just so people couldn't use it in other places. Like in PvP right now. And just, like, spam that. But, it is what it is. So, we're going to move on to talking about the quest line Because the quest line is really interesting with what she mentioned. So, let's get into that. I'll put up some images on the screen for what we talk about. Alright, so I've pulled up a few of the little tidbits from the quest line just to talk about it because I feel like there's some interesting points here. So I'll put them up on the screen so you guys can see them. But these are all from Velma and the first one it says that she found a new cool spell, the Shadow Trickster, which is the main point of us even doing this quest is to go and defeat the Shadow Trickster in order to basically become him with that form and that's what the end reward of this quest should have been 
we should be able to get Shadow Trickster, and then it's our new Shadow spell that we can transform into that, and then use different spells. I don't know if Trick is supposed to be a spell that we can actually learn ourselves, or if it's a spell that you should be able to only use if you're in Shadow Trickster form. I don't really know, but think about it though. Other morphing, uh, like what do you call it, like the the shadow spells that you can turn into, those spells don't give you a new set of spells. So I'm not really sure. I mean, it says in a different one. Let me look. I have it in here somewhere. It says in a different one of the the dialogue pieces that once you become the trickster, you take his form and you take his skills so to me that makes sense to the fact that we should be able to learn or be able to use different spells while in the trickster form so that means this is a different shadow spell that we've seen before so if that's the case then maybe trick is part of his kit that he can use maybe we were supposed to actually learn it so we can use it i don't know so that's up in the air but that's like the main point of this quest and i think it's really cool because she's basically sending us on a mission to defeat a shadow creature that she discovered herself because that's her job she hunts down shadow creature in this other picture you can see the actual quest is just called shadow trickster and there's no rewards xp or anything like that so i'm guessing once this actually is completed then we will get the shadow creature as a reward the shadow spell for that i'm sure it will be there so that's pretty cool. I, I don't know. I'm really excited for this quest just because it is really different. And how cool would it be if from time to time Velma just summons us to go and track down a shadow creature that she found and defeat it. Like basically we become a bounty hunter for shadow creatures just like her. Maybe we'll see her in the next world. But here's the biggest hint that she gave. This is the biggest line from this uh, new quest. I need to get back to work. I hear they've got an infestation of shadow fish in the floating lands. So I'll be on the beach. See ya. That right there is like, what? What is going on? So first off, shadow fish. There's no shadow fish in the game yet. That's kind of crazy. Second off, floating lands. At first I thought this was the floating land in Celestia. And it could be, because I have no idea. The floating land in Celestia is the, you know, above sea level islands that they have. The rest of Celestia is underwater. So maybe that has an infestation of shadowfish. I don't know how that makes sense because, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe at some point we will see shadowfish in Celestia. I don't know. The other possibility, because she does say beach, so beach makes sense for floating lands. But the other possibility is... Floating lands as in floating above in the sky for Imperia. Which, how would there be fish then? Are they fish that fly in, in the, through the sky like in Pirate? Could be. I don't know. But she does say on the beach though. So on the beach makes me feel like it's more floating land in Celestia. But I don't know. Shadowfish though. Shadowfish is a cool concept for the next level of fishing. To me that's really interesting and uh, something that we've never seen before. So, I don't know what to make of that, but it does give us some hints at things in the future. So, I hope we see more of Velma, and I'm excited to see what the Shadow Trickster, the actual spell, is like. Because we weren't able to get that, but Trick is still in the game. I hope they remove it. Maybe they'll remove it tonight with some kind of maintenance, and uh, then they'll close off the Shadow Room. So, go in the Shadow Room now if you want to. Unfortunately, you won't be able to do the quest, but that's because it was added to the game early on accident. So, there you go. Uh, with the banning thing, I don't think you will get banned. I mean, I, if, if everyone gets banned, then I'll get banned too for getting tricked. But Tom said you shouldn't get banned for doing the quest if you already did it. The only thing that I'm skeptical of is people that are using this in like PvP because that's, uh, I don't know, that's, it seems a little much if you're, if you're doing that. But I don't know. Who knows what they'll do. That's just what I've seen. It was kind of crazy in the beginning when people thought that everyone that did this quest was going to get banned. It was kind of like a rumor that spread. So I'm glad it was cleared up to say like, yeah, okay, I messed up with this. And I'm sure they'll take it down really soon. But you won't get banned for doing that. So that is going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this discussion of the new Shadow Room and everything that was updated in the game accidentally. Let me know what you guys think. 
Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.